So guys, welcome back to Narcosis. In the previous episode, we were in the darkest depths of the ocean. Once we got to this point though, it was almost like we were listening to our character being interviewed. And the woman that was interviewing us almost implying that it was partially our fault for what went down here. I mean, she didn't say it direct, but almost saying, could you have done more? Was that fish feeding on that crab? See, I was thinking this, oh, there's a body there. I was thinking this in the previous episode, like the deeper we get, we could potentially run into bigger predators. Like so far, all we've seen are those weird squid-like creatures. But as far as I can tell, it was the shockwave. And we just have to find the crew. Like compile a list of names of the crew that were down here. There's one of those squids. Alright, let's see if we can get this down. We've done this a few times now. If we time it right, we can kind of do the knockback. The fuck? That was almost a new attack. There we go. Oh, it just tried to wink us as well. Alright. Just breathe. Look at the size of this sub. Alright, into the darkness we go. So you're lost and looking for some way out of all of this. And really your only option now is the other habitat, Compass 2. And what's most unsettling to, to me is you're in this dive suit. You call it a walking coffin. I can't even imagine what that takes. It takes everything. But when you're losing your strength and your senses, well, like I said, it helps you focus on what little's left. We're definitely being interviewed. Oh. Okay, I think this, this person, what I'm calling the ghost diver, I think this is our guide. Almost like our guardian angel. I don't know if if it's leading us to safety or it's trying to point something out to us, almost like it needs us to find the answers. But if you could hear what that woman was saying then, we'd definitely been interviewed about something. So there's something more sinister that's gone on down with this facility and it might not just be the shockwave. Which way does he want us to go? Okay, I think there's a cave there. But I just noticed this when, the, uh, when they were talking a second ago. This reminds me of the Mariana Trench. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the deepest part of the world's ocean. And it's actually fascinating. Like, if you guys are interested in stuff like that, I highly recommend you go and check it out. They've got, like, scientist teams and stuff down there. I mean, there's places that they can't get to. But if there is a chance of there being any creatures down in our oceans that we haven't discovered yet, it's probably there. Oh, what is that? Is that a dead... Octopus or squid or something? Alright, let's just keep going. Oh, there he is. What's all this red stuff? Oh, these are the poppies! So if you guys remember when we had that kind of weird... It almost looked like we were dead. We were in a field of poppies. There's a grave there. Leopold Fail? I probably just butchered that name, but what the hell is going on? What does it say? I can't really read that. I mean, one way or another, if we were down here for this period of time in this mech suit, we would go insane. Don't know why, but that just sent shivers down my spine. Why is there a random bike? And that's an old school bike too. All right, let's see if we can get to higher ground. I don't really want to be going deeper if shit's getting crazy like this. What? Is that a random bookshelf? They're gonna be like a secret door behind it or something.
I'm trying to work out what's going on because there's two sides to the story in this. Like I was explaining before, there's the shockwave incident and then there's the character progression and I can't really work out what we're trying to be told. Okay, this way. There's almost like a black gas there though. Every time we go into it, are we hallucinating? Looks like a grandfather clock. Okay. If that's not enough to weird you guys out, I don't know what is. Maybe signifying that the lost track of... Oh wait, the screen's going black. We gotta go. Okay, what the fuck? Are we stuck in a loop? Go this way? Okay, I think we're out. Even setting that aside, so much about your ordeal is almost beyond most people's comprehension. Were you ready for this? Or were you lucky? No, no luck. You mentioned possibilities. Does a part of you wonder where you'd be if you'd never gone down there in the first place? Not really, I, I mean, that kind of thinking won't get you anywhere. After they stopped speaking then, I heard a scream. But you guys can understand where I'm getting that from now, like she... She just asked the question. What if you didn't go down there? Almost like we didn't have a choice. And I keep hearing those screams, I don't know if it's the crabs or if it's someone that needs help. Okay, we got a light down there. Some more flares. How are we doing for oxygen? 63%. We're okay. Right, there's another body. Whoa, look at that. What is that? I thought it was like a jellyfish. I'm not proud of some of the things I did. But I'm not leaving anything out. I can't. Okay. This is definitely taking a twist. He just said he's not proud of some of the things he did. Now, does that mean as in taking the deceased O2? Or did he actually... Oh, shit. Alright, we got more crabs. Don't you stab me. Something you guys didn't see in the previous episode is I tried to get... Oh. Tried to get past these guys, and every time I did, they would just pierce the suit. Are they going to stop there? Okay, we're going to run out of oxygen. I think we're good. This way? It'll be a tight squeeze. The last day of third grade, we drive down to the dock. She points at her watch, tells me, close your eyes. She puts her hand on my chest, says, 10 seconds. And then I'm falling. Who did? I'm gonna drown. I mean, I'm sure of it. She's shouting, not to interfere. Ten seconds later, her hand's on mine, pulling me up. The next day we go again, only now it's 15. I'm up all night watching the clock, trying to count 20 on the dot. I knew so long as I, you know, hold out. 40 seconds, 45, she'd come. And one day she didn't. 
My first thoughts, maybe I messed up the count. My second thoughts, I'm on my own. I open my eyes and the sun's behind her. But I know that shape, it's familiar. Arms crossed, staring down at me. Okay, so... Who is he talking about? Do we have a wife? Now, this thing inside the mech suit does say locate compass 2. So I think we've just found it. But I'm trying to piece together exactly what he was saying then. He was talking about holding his breath for something. Maybe, like, dive training or something. Anyway. By the time I climb onto the dock, she's already home. Methane is a greenhouse gas, one of the most potent. Other industrial disasters may have been more severe, but Oceanova was groundbreaking, like you said. It could be years before we know all the consequences. We might never understand the ecological impact. It was very expensive, and 19 people died. Like it or not, you're the human face of all this. So what do you say to your critics? I believe in what we were doing. But was it worth the cost? I wouldn't say so. Nothing's worth mass loss of lives like that. So whatever Oceanova was doing, they were into some serious shit, and I'm guessing part of it was obviously this methane stuff, the methane hydrate. But let's just go back a second. Did you guys see the size of that creature that flew over the top of our heads? Well, I say flew. Swam. Let's grab a little bit more O2. Okay, we've reached Compass 2. Oh, there's a crab in the way. Okay, doesn't look like we're getting into the compass too. I think we might have to move that. Is that the ghost? Yeah, that's the ghost. Is he pointing to this body? Okay. I think he is. No ID detected. Can we not get the O2? Every single time I find one of these bodies, it reminds me of... I can't remember his name. Was it Russ? At the beginning of the game? There's a body up there, too. Alright, where are you asking us to go? That way? Go through the pipes? Oh, it's one of those ghost things again. All right, we got another body here. Retrieve ID. Yeah, I think that was a real person. I don't think that was the ghost. Like I say, guys, I'm going to go back. I'm going to check on all the people that I've found so far. Can we not just get into the facility from this side? Gotta be really careful here too, because there's there's giant openings in the floor. I don't know what these things are, but I'm guessing they were used to harvest whatever they were drilling for, the methane hydrate or whatever it was. There's fucking squids everywhere or octopus. Alright, where do you want us to go? Alright, you want me to do some parkour over to that console?
Yep. These things are gonna get in the way. I'm nervous that these things are gonna latch onto the suit. Okay, what do you want us to do? Reroute the methane flow. So is that what this gas is coming out the top of these? I don't know what you would call these. Let's just do it. Okay, did that do what he wanted us to do? Are we supposed to use these to, to clamber up to the top? I did find a body up there and it looked like he had something round his neck. Which way do you go though? There's a place down there. All right, let's let's search this first. I can always come back to this. Some more O2. Some flares. What did that say? A tree flare. Activate generator. 110 volts. engineer, you're a problem solver. You value logic and precision. You talk a lot about times, distances, values, and yet there were some challenges you couldn't solve. Numbers are easy. It's people that are complex. Numbers bring things into focus. No gray areas to distract you from getting things into perspective. Okay, so if you guys didn't see that then, it took me a little bit of a while to figure out, but it actually needed over 800 volts. So as long as you add up, I think it was 810. As long as you do the math, the voltage is on the actual generators. I think that should trigger the sequence. Now, I think what's happened there is it's just helped this control the flow of the methane. Fuck. What's going on? Oh, did one of the one of the squids ink us? Don't you don't you dare. Let me get over to this. Yeah, okay. I think I know what's happened now. Basically before the the pipes were kind of letting off this steam or either the methane or something. And then obviously once you control the generator down there, I think the pumps are all working again, so nothing's leaking out at the top, which should it was a way to get onto these and that's how I get to where that body was or at least I think could be dead wrong with this and this is gonna be no I think we can make that here we go only a couple more to go oh <gasps> we almost didn't make that Okay, so, look, you can see this, he's got something round his neck. This is what kind of gave me the clue. Retrieve keycard and ID. JJ Castillo. Okay, we got everything? Is that some kind of gas? Oh wait, there was a lift. There was a lift at the bottom when I, when I took a left just before we saw the ghost again. Does it get easier answering all the same questions? Now, people ask all kinds of questions. What they ask says a lot about their character. Especially when it comes to casualties. So what's the response when they do ask about the gory details? I oblige. See which way they want to take it. I mean... What people don't get is that they don't want me to keep going. Not really. There's only so much blood and guts people can take before they lose their appetite. Everyone has their limits.
Okay, so I think we actually made it into the Compass 2 facility now. It was a little bit confusing to me that back there because I kind of understood what it wanted me to do, obviously like jump from platform to platform, but with the generator room, it throws you off a little bit. I think you have to activate the generator room first, so you can then change the methane and then obviously work your way across to grab the key card. It was just the kind of the lift sequence threw me off. But we're inside. Oh shit. I think the ghost diver tried to grab us then. How do we get out of this? I can't move. Oh. <gasps> oh shit. Wait, is that thing chasing me? Okay, there's there's a way there. Okay, I'm not even going to try and hide it, guys. I panicked and we died, but I think I know what we've got to do. At the end of that corridor, there was something on a table next to that red door. And at least we can get to see if the diver tries to grab us again. Was it here? Yeah, look, you could see that. The diver tried to grab us, so I'm assuming he's some kind of... of guide? Which is the one that comes after us? Is it you? Okay, we're not doing too good. It's this one. No? What the hell? <gasps> it is that one. Shit. Okay, so this is what I found last time. When we get to the end, there's something on that weird top small table you got to get it quick because once he closes in, you're dead. He kind of freezes you up. Okay, retrieve object. We can't use it to get through that door, so the only way I didn't go is this. Get through. Okay, so I think we can officially say we made it into the Compass 2, and this looks like the main hub. If you guys remember earlier on, we found in Compass 1 that it said that there could be an escape pod over here, so hopefully we can locate where that is, and I'm going to take a look at all the crew members that we found in the next episode. So for now, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you all in the next one.